Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today, we'll talk about the animated card widget presented by Element Pack Pro. As soon as you drag and drop the widget inside Elementor page editor, you'll see a virtual tin can on the content area. Hovering on it will unfold a series of info in a colored background pane with a popping animation. Hovering back will retract everything back inside again. This is the basic appearance of the animated card widget. Let's see how you can customize it. From the animated card section of the content tab, you can select an image or something to replace the default tin can using the image field here. Let's select a branded cola bottle for example. Then we can change the title and add a title link. We can also put words in the subtitle field as well as add text in the description field. After that, from the additional settings section, you can adjust the item height using the first scroll bar. Also, the max width of the content is adjustable using the second scroll bar here. Just hover over the content to see the changes. Using the image size option, you can customize the resolution of the image. Here, you can switch the image position to the left side so the content will pop up on the right side. Below are some switchers to show or hide certain elements from the display such as the title, subtitle, text, and read more. For example, you can turn off the subtitle switcher and it won't show up in the pop-up window anymore. Next, on the read more section, you can put any text for the read more button as well as insert your target link in the field right below. There's another option to add an icon to the read more button. Use it if you like it. Moving on to the style tab. The first section lets you change the background of the content area. Let's change to a suitable color for example. The option is also available for the hover mode. From the image section, you can customize the size of the image by the first scroll bar. Then there's an additional option for CS filters, opacity and transition animation duration for the pop-up window. Next, you can change the color and typography of the title that belongs to the content area from this section. After that, you can customize the description text as well. For the read more button, you can go for a solid border with a thin border width at the bottom for making an underlined text effect. Suit yourself in checking the result. That's how you put content using the amazing animated curd widget. Hope you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, until next time.